Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'm going to show you how I'm making this card. Um, using a retired Stampin' Up! set and another a stamp set that a lady called Suzanne gave me. And it is a... This one. Lavina Stamps. Uh, they're here in the UK. Can't see that very well for the plastic. When we went to our Saturday crop, she asked if I could use that, and I thought I'd find some up for it. And this is what I found: making them into the mushrooms into Christmas trees for the mice. Also used a, another cardio stamp set, the light bulbs, vintage lights, um, and there's a little tiny one which I'm going to use for the trees, that one's too big, but there is a little tiny tiny one, so I'm going to use that, and of course Stampin' Up's Merry Mice, retired years ago, but I like him, and I've got to use it. So I'm going to use that one. I'm going to come out a little bit. Yeah. Right, to make this card I've got a white card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths. Scored at 4 and 1 eighth. Folded in half and burnished. I've got a piece of black. Basic black at Nothing because I haven't cut it down. Let's see and sort that. Right, I want this at four and one eight. No, I don't. Three and seven eight. Which it is supposed to be, but it's not quite. Didn't cut that very straight, did it? Three and seven eighths. Spread that. Five. Five and five eighths. Uh, I can't tell where it is on this. There it is. Looks like it's too small. Yep, we're going to have to cut this white bit down a bit. I'll not measure it, I'll just play it by ear. And right, if you're going to make a card like this, please measure. It should have been five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and the white layering bit should be five and a half by three and three quarters. There you are. That fits that nice. Where there's a will, there's a way. And then I've also got a piece for the inside, but I don't think I did anything. No. And that will go inside. So to get started, we're going to stamp on this. And I'm going to use... Um, what did I use here? Memento Tuxedo Black. And with my mace, I'm going to put them about there. We've got this page is a little bit smaller. Never mind. Yeah. Then I've got the biggest mushroom, or the tallest mushroom. Ink it 
up and we're going to put this oh need a mask now I've done a half a mask quickly all I did is just cut out around the tops because that's all I need to cut out and this one is going here oh, right above his head Now I've got a change the box, put this one on. The smaller one of the the shorter one. And we're going to stick this down here a bit. going to put one up there yeah so I need the mask for that just to cover the mushroom and I'm going to put this one up there a bit I think I should have gone over a bit, but never mind. Yeah. And then one more. I'm going to put this one. Right. Got the rid of that. Sorry about that. Right then, now all we've got to do is uh, colour it in. Now I have got a Merry Christmas, but on this one, I actually put under here, I actually put Merry Christmas Mouse, and it didn't stamp very well. So I got this and stamped Merry Christmas on there. But on this one, I'm actually going to put it flat. But if it doesn't turn out right, I have got one, another, what do you call them? Oh my god. Uh, One of these, a banner. It's come right out my head, that has. Same as last night, my husband and I could not think of the word. 
Oh, that's turned out nice. Could not think of the word telescope. We were calling them kaleidoscopes, stethoscopes, periscopes. We could not remember the word telescope. Talk about senior moment between us. <laughs> so funny. Well, we thought it was funny. Oh, I wonder what I've forgotten. My little lights. So, going back to the Versafine again. And all I did with this is try and stamp them right up so that they're hanging from the tree, literally. Christmas lights. So right, to get this started we're going to colour our mushroom in real red dark as light. This will take a while because we've got to go around all the red, uh, white dots. I know I haven't got one I'd prepared earlier. Who started their Christmas shopping? I haven't. Don't even know what to get. Well, my grandkids are easy. They get um, gift vouchers. So they can get what they want and not what I think they want. Enjoy their good vouchers. Mind you, I think my children do as well. Because they can get what they want. And they know I can't go shopping. I couldn't tell you the last time I went um, into Colchester Town shopping. Couldn't even tell you what shops there. What I'm going to do, because this is going to take a little while to do all this, I am going to pause the video and colour these in and then come back and um, come back when I've done it all. So I don't think you want to see me colour in all these and 
to speed up the video a little bit instead of it being a really long one. So I'll do this mushroom and then come back to it. Right, for the stalk I did crumb cake light. I just that's all I did. Just this isn't light, is it? Oh, this is soft side. I picked up the wrong one. Never mind. Doesn't matter. the lights I just picked some random colours you know tree light colours and coloured them in and then obviously colour the mice in so I'll come back when I've done that see you in a bit right I'm back and I've um, coloured it all in and I have stuck it down on its mat and on the card base Right, what we're going to do now, if you can see on this one, I don't know if you can see, but my bubbles are all glittery and they're not flat. And how I did this was I got some um, glossy accents and I filled in all the dots, all the dots, all the lights with glossy accent. Now I have done another card using this method and I will put that upload that before I upload this one. Right, there's my glossy accent on. And now I've got some glitter, some paper. So what I'm going to do is sprinkle glitter all over the lights. This is why I don't like glitter. It goes everywhere. And then we'll just quickly tap it off. I think it's come off everywhere where it's not meant to be. Put that to one side. And this back in the top and then get rid of that in the bin right so that's the one I've done did this is one I've just done now we'll have to leave this flat so that the glossy accents dry in, in the shape I want them to dry in. And when you know when it dries, it dries nice and hard. And with the glitter on, they're just all glittery. It looks quite nice. So that is our card. 
sorry it was a bit boring you didn't want to see me colouring all that oh no look I forgot something I forgot to grind my mouse mice right seems as I coloured the mice grey I'm going to do the grounding in crumb cake so we just And I need to put some around this tree as well. Since as you can see the bottom of the tree. There we are. I hope you like that. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.